So did you know you can actually balance a needle on top of water? This is because water has something called surface tension, but as soon as you add a surfactant into water, you can't actually balance the needle on top anymore. This is because the surface tension has now been lowered. The surface tension of water is also why water doesn't really seem to spread out very well. If you've noticed water, it tends to sort of like lump up into like a bubble when you like pour some out on a countertop. And this actually explains why we can't clean with just water. It won't actually wipe away all the dirt, specifically the oil soluble dirts. So hey, what's up? My name is Tara and I am a self-taught cosmetic formulator. I started my channel a long time ago, sort of under a different mission statement, but as I have learned more about formulating cosmetics, the more I have realized I do not know. So I'm not a professional. I am just somebody on the internet who really likes formulating cosmetics and cosmetic science. And I like to share with you guys what I learned along the way. Today's video is actually inspired by this book here. This is Discovering Cosmetic Science. It's specifically inspired by page 19 to page 25. So this is my source for this video. And um, yeah, all the information in this video comes from this book. So if you guys wanna read this book yourself, you can use the link down in my description box. It is an affiliate link. I'm not sponsored by the people who wrote this book, but of course, if I am purchasing something on Amazon that I actually use and like myself, of course, I'm gonna use my affiliate link because why not make a little bit of money off of something I'm promoting if I really actually like it. Use my link down below if you guys wanna purchase this book. Also, shout out to at Cosmetic Your Way for being the person who actually recommended me this book. Zachariah makes great educational content on how to formulate as well. What is a surfactant? One surfactant might cleanse, but another surfactant will emulsify. They do a lot of different things. So a surfactant molecule has an oil loving tail and then a water loving head. And this is often represented as a tadpole. So all these figures I'm gonna be drawing are actually taken from the Discovering Cosmetic Science book, but they are very common illustrations used to demonstrate surfactants in my cells. I really wasn't sure how this whole whiteboard thing would go. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but this is a really simplified version of what a surfactant molecule looks like. Obviously they are three-dimensional, not two-dimensional. So just keep that in mind with all these illustrations that I draw. Also, I'm still recovering from my carpal tunnel surgery, so my hand doesn't really work very well, but you know, it's getting there. So here is the water loving head, and then the other end is the oil loving tail. So every surfactant, whether it's a cleansing surfactant or an emulsifying surfactant, has one oil loving and then one water loving side to it. So as you can see, a surfactant molecule has two different sides that want to do two different things. One side wants to attach to water, that is the water loving side. And then the other side wants to attach to oil, which is the oil loving side. Oh great, I can literally still see what I drew. This board doesn't seem to work very well. So let's say you have a cup of water and you pour surfactant into the water. They will stick their oil loving ends and on the top and the sides and the bottom of your container. And then their water loving heads will be facing the water. And obviously this is because the oil loving ends don't wanna be in water. So they are trying to escape the water by sticking their oil loving ends along the edges of the container and along the surface of the water. So this is what's happening when a surfactant is added into water. So the surfactant molecules doing this is actually what helps lower the surface tension and what helps water spread out onto a surface rather than bubbling up. So this is why we can no longer balance that needle on top of the water. It's because the surfactant has been introduced to the water and all the surfactant molecules are aligned on the surface of the water, getting rid of the surface tension. And this is why surfactants are known as a wetting agent. It helps wet out water, flatten it out on a surface, and it will no longer bubble up like normal water does when you introduce that surfactant. The surfactant is actually just one word to describe a broad range of different ingredients. A surfactant can be a foaming agent, a solubilizer, an emulsifier, 
a wetting agent, but these are all surface active agents and that's why they're all known as surfactants. What are micelles? So let's say we add so much surfactant into this container that there's no more space for the oil loving tails to protrude on the top or along the side. So this is when all of the oil loving tails actually come together to form a ball shape, which is known as a micelle. I did my best to draw the micelles and they don't look very good. Let me, let me try again off here in the corner. I, I tried to draw it better again, but it just doesn't look very good. That, that's how you get a micelle. That's how a micelle is formed. So this point where you add so much surfactant that you actually get micelles forming, this is called the critical micelle concentration of the surfactants, CMC. What is foam and how does it work? So if you've ever tried to put air in water, you'll notice this doesn't work. Again, this is because water has surface tension. But once again, if we add a surfactant into water, this lowers the surface tension and we now are able to introduce air into the water slash surfactant mixture. So once we have an air bubble introduced into this like water slash surfactant mixture that we have, a micelle can actually form around it. And this is because this is another place for those oil loving tails to try to feel safe, to try to escape all that water. Because remember, the oil loving tails will protrude on the surface of the water. And since this is an air bubble, the oil loving ends feel safe forming around that bubble. And then of course you will have the water loving heads on the other end. So this is actually what helps stabilize foam in your foaming products like shampoos, body washes, and face washes and stuff. This also explains that foam is actually just another type of emulsion. So when you have a foaming product like a face wash, a body wash, shampoo, when you add in those fragrance oils and essential oils, you don't have to worry about them not emulsifying because all of these oil loving ends of the surfactant will surround the essential oil or fragrance oil to help solubilize it. I don't think I need to draw it all for you to understand that. It's basically the same concept as the air bubble. Also, micelles aren't just sitting like doing nothing. They are constantly breaking down and reforming in your products. If you want a more beginner friendly look at surfactants, I highly recommend going and watching my video I did before as a part of my formulating for beginner series on my video all about surfactants. If you are a beginner, I can't recommend enough going back and watching my entire formulating for beginner series. And if you want like the written version of it, just go on my Patreon. It's $5 a month. And I have written out blog like versions of all of my information heavy videos I do or any of my formulas I share. You can get a written out recipe slash formula of like any of the products I make on my channel. Go check out my Patreon. There's a lot over there. It's only $5 a month. That's about it. I hope you guys uh, like my new filming setup. Um, there, there are two cats back there on that couch. I don't know if you have seen them the entire time. I got a new mic. Let's hope the audio is good. If not, I will keep working on it and trying to get it better. Um, I am doing pretty good for my carpal tunnel release surgery. And the whole reason I didn't do the video on emulsifiers that I initially had planned today was just because I didn't feel like formulating. I'm not really ready to start mixing and stuff yet. I did buy a lot of mechanical machinery to help me do that now. So I don't have to sit there and do that all the time now. So that is about it. I hope you're doing well yourself. Leave me a comment down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision, now I'm on a mission to find myself.